welcome back and today we are doing another tutorial and again this series is about party looks. It's going to be 31 days of party looks that are fun for Christmas, for New Year's, for any kind of holiday party. And I just thought it would be fun to do this tutorial um, because this is when we are inundated with all these new palettes coming out and that we have to buy them and we forget what awesome palettes we have in our collection. And today's um, look is featuring the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Now this is a palette that I, for from what I've seen, is universally loved um, and comes very just well reviewed, highly regarded. But the thing is, is this palette people have purchased this palette and it just sits in their collection because they don't know what to do with the colors. And again, the series is all about taking out those old palettes and making them a part of your of your routine, even if it's not your everyday routine, for your fun, festive, special occasion routine. So if you want to see how I got this look, it is very colorful, still very soft and feminine, and I think for those of you who want to dip your, your toesies, toesies into the color world, I think this would be a good look because there's nothing too harsh or abrasive or like in your face about it. So yeah, if you want to see this tutorial, then stick around. And prime my eye with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to spread this all over the eye from brow bone to lash line. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my inner corner just to brighten it up and kind of cancel out some of those dark circles. Now I'm going to go into the Profusions Brow Palette and I'm going to just take the little brush that's in there, the double sided brush, and I'm going to pick up the shimmery shade and we're just going to use that to set right underneath the eye. Once we have um, finished with that, I'm just going to pick up a fluffy brush. This is from Soho London and I'm going to go into this, um, the other half of that highlighting shade and we're just going to use this as our transition. We're just going to start blending this all over the lid. This is a really nice transition color because it's soft and very light, but it can be built up. All right, now we're gonna go into the electric palette and I'm gonna pick up a BR um, 250 brush from Coastal Scents and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Savage. This is a very intense color, so I'm gonna um, dust off my brush and I'm gonna start laying it over that highlight, or I mean that transition shade. We're gonna just slowly build up this color. That's better, I didn't have my ring light turned up. Sorry about that, guys. I was wondering why it was so dark. So we're just gonna blend that softly, and if we wanna build it up, we definitely can. But now taking that same brush, we're now gonna go into Jilted, which is this really pretty duochromatic color. Again, we're gonna, this is a very, very pigmented <laughs> palette, as I'm sure you know. We're just going to take that and just blend it out, start building up that color. And as you deposit the color in the crease, because we are going to stay very close to the crease on this one, you can start blending it back up and fading it out. And again, taking that same brush, we're going to go in with Urban, which is the deep purple, royal purple shade in the palette. I'm just going to start putting this right in the outer corner outer V and start bringing it onto my lid just a little bit. And the same thing, once we get that most of that color deposited on the lid, go ahead and just blend it up into Jilted. Alright, now I'm just going to pick up a flat shader brush. This one is from MASH and I am going to go into the shade Fringe, which is probably one of my favorites in the palette. I just love this shade. And we're going to start just applying that all over the lid. You can wet your brush if you want, but this is already a really colorful look. I want it to be a little bit more romantic, um, but you know, do you, whatever you feel like doing. So I'm just doing a little bit more toned down, soft, soft version. And I'm just going to blend that right into Urban. So that's going to go over pretty much the whole lid. And again, just start blending it in. With the other side of the brush, I'm going to go back into Urban. And I'm going to start just, again, reiterating the purple on the outer corner and transitioning it over. And it starts creating a really pretty, like, royal blue type of look. Now, once we have all of those shadows placed where we want, I'm just going to go back in with no more product on that BR250 and blend everything out. Then I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that kind of mid-tone brown that we used as our transition. And again, just softening everything up. 
Now you can absolutely leave the eye like this, um, but what I'm going to do is I want to add just another layer, just some sparkliness on the eye. So I'm going to go in with that same flat shader brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Revolt. And again, I'm just going to start placing this in the center of my eye and just blending it out. And this is just going to add some shimmer and some sparkle to the look. And again, you can go as heavy handed or as light as you want with this. I feel like this is just really, really does lighten up the look and brighten it up and soften it up in a really beautiful way. And again, I'm just going to go in with that uh, our 250 brush with no more product on it and just reiterate those outer colors just in case Revolt got up higher than the lid. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to take Urban what is this? Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. It's just like been my go-to highlight shade lately. And I'm just going to take this little Sephora brush and I'm going to start blending that into, what is it? Fringe and Revolt and just brightening up that inner corner. Now going in with my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner, I'm just going to do a wing. You can do this. You don't have to do this. You can make this as extravagant or as simple as you want. You know how I feel about liner. Personal preference. Alright guys, now I'm just going to line my waterline and my tight line with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. And again, this does not need to be clean. It's actually going to be better if it's messy we are going to do a smokier look. All right, guys, and now with just that same little Sephora small shader brush, we're going to go into fringe again, and we're just going to start smoking out that lower lash line. And I'm going to take a little bit of Urban, that deep purple, and run that right above fringe and blend it into the black. All right, guys, I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm going to be using the Pure Fully Charged Mascara, and I'm going to be using my, ooh, they're falling off, my um, Cherry Blossom 304s. My Cherry Blossom 304s. I love this lash. I love this combination, so I'm going to pop those on. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've done all of my face makeup. I've done my lashes. So I'm going to go back in and just reiterate that smokiness underneath the eye. So I'm just going back in with that small Sephora brush again, and again, just... Kind of smoking everything out. I am taking this down pretty far because I do want it to be dramatic. But I'm going to soften it up just a little bit. Alright guys, now I'm um, going with my Coastal Sense BRC S06 brush. It's like a fluffy brush, but it's got a tapered point to it. I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild... Um, Color Icon Contouring Palette. This is the old one in Dolce de Leche. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that contouring shade. And I'm going to start softening up that line. Alright guys, and then if you need to, go ahead and clean up your lash band with your liquid liner. And then we are going to start working on the face. To the face, I'm just going to go back in with that Dolce de Leche palette and my BRC S25 brush. And I'm just going to start contouring my cheeks. Because i got a big old fat round head. We just need a little bit of definition. So it's going to be a little bit softer. I like this color because it's not quite as extreme on me. But it gives a little bit of definition and kind of livens up the face without being too much, especially when we're doing a somewhat not subtle eye look. Alright guys, using that same BRC S25 brush, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in Fetish. Really beautiful. It's going to pick up some of those um, pinkier, purpley, mauvey tones in the look without being over the top. I'm just going to brush up that brush again, and I'm going to go in with my Soap and Glory Glow All Out face powder. I really like this highlighter. It just gives a beautiful like airbrushed finish to the skin. And it has the most beautiful, I don't know if you can tell, like iridescence to it. It just, it's gorgeous. It's a very subtle highlight. Well, it's a very natural highlight, but it's not too subtle. Does that make sense? Like you can see the glow. You can see the glow. 
All right guys, and since we're already kind of going ham on the face, we're just gonna go ahead and carry that over to the lips. I'm gonna use this really kind of hot pink um, matte liquid lipstick. This is from Tattoo Junkie. This is their long lasting smudge proof lip color in Riot. This was actually out with that um, DC, you know, Girls of DC collection that was out in Walgreens. And I already really, really enjoyed all of the other lip colors that I have from um, Tattoo Junkie. So I thought I would give this one a try too. You very rarely see me in a bright pink lip, but I'm kind of liking it. All right, guys, this is coming off a little bit warmer than I want it to, so I'm going to tone it down just a little bit with another lip paint. This is in Minx. All right, guys, I like that a little bit better, so I'm just going to spray everything down again with my uh, primer water. So this is the finished look. I'm really digging it. I'm loving it because it's colorful, but it's also very soft and feminine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, stay tuned. It's going to be 31 days of, of uh, tutorials. You guys are going to be so freaking sick of me at the end of this, but that's okay. It's all about bringing out your collection and using it. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a rocking week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.